Hello everyone, drum tech drummer and online educator Kenny Shear is coming to you with a brand new snare tuning video on something that I consider a bucket list snare. And today we're going to be doing a snare tuning video on the brand new Rogers Super 10. Now I just got a 6.5 inch by 14 inch version of this Super 10 and I'm super excited y'all because it kind of rounds out my snare collection and gives me all the sounds I need for all the music I play, for all the artists I play for, and all the studio sessions I do, but using only my Rogers snare collection. Solid. Now this in front of you is what they call the Super 10. It is a 1.2 millimeter shell with 2.3 millimeter hoops, so it's got a lot of body and tone, but it's got a lot of crack too, pretty much through its whole tuning range. It sounds great played with rim shots, sounds great played with the tip of the stick in the, in the, on the head with no rim shot, and I am absolutely in love with this drum. Now again, I mentioned the 2.3 millimeter hoops, which it makes for easier tuning and a bit smoother tuning, as well as a bit more cracky rim shot. We have the classic beaver tail lugs that make this drum look magnificent. It is my favorite lug design from Rogers. And then of course we have the traditional seven line center line design to make this truly a throwback drum that reflects everything that was great about the early Super 10s and everything that's great about the new Super 10s. Now I never met a Super 10 that I didn't love, so again I'm super excited to have this drum in the collection. And of course don't forget the mint repro of the clock face snare throw off. Man, it, this is like going back in time and yet having a brand new drum all at the same time. Now we're gonna be taking this snare drum from ground to sound, y'all, with a brand new power center head from Evans, man. It comes with that traditional single ply ambassador that comes with the drum, and it's a great head, but everybody's already done a review with that head on it, man. I wanted to do something fresh and new, so I put my favorite drum head that I like to put on metal snare drums, which is a single ply with a reinforcement dot, AKA the Evans Power Center, just to give you a different style of tones from the other videos you might hear, and hear the tones that I love to hear coming off this drum. So we're gonna take this again, like I said, from ground to sound. We're gonna redo the bottom head, redo the top head from the beginning so you can tune with me step by step to get all these tunings, like the first tuning that we have right here. Now I'm gonna trade tensions with these two. Bring this one down and this one up as we go. Beautiful. Let's get that one more little nudge up. Bam. Now it's even. And so now we've got this B to E going on the drum, and I'll double check it. All right, and this is going to be the first tuning that we start with on the snare drum, y'all. So let's get into the kit and start a drumming. Ah, oh, that is awesome, y'all. Crack for days. Tons of body. Sounds great as a rim shot. Center stick. Ah, oh, all the body and tone you want out of a brass snare drum, but still a nice pop, which is awesome for a 10 lug snare. Woo! And snare sensitivity across the board from the edge to the center and back, y'all. So I'm absolutely loving this magnificent snare. Now what I want to do next is go step by step, taking it down a step to where we have a perfect fifth and get a bit more of a swampy sound so you can hear the depth that this snare drum can get simply by adjusting the tuning one whole step. Beautiful, now that is a perfect fit. That is a perfect aid. You can hear it sing more. And now we got a great sounding pitch that's gonna resonate properly on the drum.
yeah, that's a richer, fatter snare sound for sure. Listen to that buzz roll. Again, even at this tuning. Sensitivity crops the board, y'all. And I'm loving the fact that even great tone with the stick tip, absolutely fat pop and crack even at a lower tuning with this rim shot. So I'm absolutely loving it. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this drum up to a C to an E and try a major third. So from the A to the C. So again, I'm gonna jump. And see how it's just those two right there. Pulling that C down just a little bit. We'll give it a little security nice to this one because I heard some singing. Boom, we should have a. Re, mi, re, do, re. Me, Ray Do, yes, a major third. Man, again, with the ears, it is hard sometimes. I'll double check. Do, Ray, Me, Ray Do. All right, so we got a C on this drum, and now we got a major third, which is kind of more of a pop and a traditional kind of jazzy sound. So I'm going to check some details and some settings for y'all, and then we're going to get to listening to it. Oh man, that is pop central, y'all. And again, you're getting to hear the texture of the snare drum change just by changing it, maybe a, a half step or a whole step between the drum head's tunings. And that way you learn how to change your snare drum on the fly for the venue, for the song, or for the artist that you're playing with, or just for your own ears, y'all. So we're gonna take this drum up another half step on the bottom head to take it up to a C to an F to show you how raising that bottom head just a half step can change the pitch of the drum. Now I'm going to go ahead and double check. Bum, bum, that's what I want. All right, let's get these lug locks on and give a demo of this for you. Now, again, this is just a handful of tunings. There's lots of different ways to tune a snare drum. These are just some of the ones that I use when I'm out touring uh, with artists such as Stevie Wonder, Dead & Company, Rihanna, um, and they work. They work in most gigs, most arenas, small venues, big venues, doesn't matter. But hopefully what it does is really makes my drummer happy because when they're happy, they play well and they sound great for the artist. So let's talk about playing well and getting this done, shall we? Okay, y'all, so that snare is absolutely cracking, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's not too tight of a tension, but I'm getting a lot of rebound, a lot of a stick response, so everything I want out of this drum is happening at this tension. Great snare response. Great sound with the rim shot. Great sound with just stick tips, even double stroke rolls. Crisp as it gets. So I hope you enjoyed all these different tunings that I showed you, as well as knowing that there's lots of different ways to tune a snare drum. These are just a few. However, if you want to try any of these, please stream the step-by-step -step lesson at KennySherris.com where I walk you through everything that we did in this video on this snare drum, step-by-step -step from ground to sound. And as always, y'all, thank you for watching.